Hey guys and gals, and welcome to an update video! Um, and we are back in Minecraft, except the more eagle-eyed viewers will notice that- oh, I pressed that too many times. Um, the eagle-eyed viewers will notice that I'm actually in survival mode, which is interesting because I've always been in creative before. Um, okay, so the issue is that my old server, my server, I, I closed it down because none of us were playing on it anymore. So this is actually the server of Jara23 Publications. I just happen to know um, the the guy who owns the server and the, the guy who runs Jara23 Publications. Uh, he's actually my GM for this uh, DC Superheroes game I am in. And it was very kind of him to actually let me kind of join his world after it recently kind of restarted for 1.8.1. Now, let's get to the point of this update video. Let us not dilly dally, so to speak. I wanted to apologize. Yep, I am. I am going to. Ooh, that that was unexpected. I, damn it! This is why I didn't want this block here. This is why I didn't want it there. I should expand this. I think. Uh, running water should be fine. I think. Ish, maybe. I don't have a bucket on me, and I don't. Yeah, no. Um, where was I? Oh yes, an update. Uh, an update video, which is basically just twenty minutes of me apologizing. Um, and I do know it's 20 minutes because I've tried to record this before, which is why my voice might sound a little rough. Um, but I've had just so many things just ruining takes. So I've had uh, recorder issues, I've had interruptions, I've had to stop in order to get food, I've had to stop because I, w I was starving. In fact, I'm still hungry, to be honest, because um, I only did have a snack. I had to stop in the middle because uh, just things kept going wrong. So I decided to give it a break, restart my machine and come back to it later. And I tried recording it on my Mac, but um, the software that I use is out of date and I actually have to purchase a new version, which is kind of ridiculous. Anyway, ranting aside, back to apologizing, back to apologizing profusely, uh, I should say. We're just kind of exploring the area, by the way. This is a little village that I've decided to kind of protect and make my own and expand a little bit because, I don't know, I like big villages. I don't like the tiny little villages uh, that we get. Uh, what was I going to say? Um, yes, apologizing. What am I apologizing for, you ask? I hear you ask repeatedly, like, what's wrong? What's the matter? Well, some of you, I think, know what I'm apologizing for. I'm apologizing for the fact that there have been a severe lack of videos lately. Like, in the last two weeks, I think there have been no videos at all. And in the past two months, the videos have been dwindling severely. And, again, I'm just... I'm really sorry. I... I can explain though, that's also what this video is for, is to apologize and to explain what's happened, what's gone wrong, and why why things are the way they are. Now first of all, we'll start with my work schedule. I work five days a week, so that leaves me with two days off, but the reason why I don't record on those five days is because, well, I, I work in a kitchen. I work as the chef. Um, let's not use the word chef. Chef sounds far too professional for what I do. I work as the cook. I work as the waiter, and I do the dishes. I, I'm doing three jobs at once, and it is... It's exhausting. Um, especially in a cafe that's actually... I mean, it's good for the cafe, but it is building up a lot of popularity lately. But it's bad for me because I am just coming home shattered freaking every day. So that's why I don't record during my during my work days. So that leaves me with two days off, right? Now that's, that's all well and good. Two whole days off. Apart from the fact that, um, first of all, I, I stay up late talking to my fiance because she's in the US and she's on a six hour time difference and the only time we really get to talk is late at night for me, um, just because of how our, our work schedules kind of match up. Yeah, so we, we're talking late at night, so I end up going to bed late and I end up waking up late. So there's already a good chunk of my day just gone, just, just out the window. And I don't begrudge her or anything for it. I mean, I... I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'd rather talk to her than record LPs. I feel bad about not recording LPs, but no, seriously, I, I, I'd like to talk to my fiancé. That leaves me with, like, two half days. Meh. A little more than half days. Let's, let's not exaggerate. The problem is, as I, as I just said, I have a fiancé, and we're getting married in September. Now, wedding planning isn't too much of an issue. She's handling most of that. I'm helping where I can, but there's very little I can do from this side of the pond when she's in the US and I'm in the UK. As some of you may have figured by now, 
I am a British citizen. I, I, I'd need a visa in order to actually get married to the woman I love. I know it's kind of ridiculous that I need a visa for that, but it is what it is. I, I need a visa in order to actually go over there and marry her. And the visa process, it's a long one and it's frustrating and there's a lot of different components to it. And it's really frustrating trying to do all of these things at once. But they take up time and they specifically take off take up my days off. Not only from paperwork, because yes, there's paperwork aspect, as you would expect, um, but there's also a lot of running around. For example, last week, I had to go to London in order to get my uh, my medical examination done. So I needed to go to London last week. Um, a couple weeks before that, I need to run around, try and get fingerprints taken for certificate of no criminal conviction. Um, that took several days, actually, surprisingly, just because I kept being told, yeah, you should come back tomorrow, come back tomorrow, we'll do this, uh, we'll do it then, um, kind of asking questions, all of that jazz. It's ridiculous having to go into town for all of that. Um, and for those of you who don't know, uh, I actually live like five hours by coach away from London, so that's a full day out of the way. I don't like live next to London. A lot of people, when you tell them that you live in England, they immediately assume, oh, London, right. Nope. Nope. Very much nope. That's, that's not really the same thing. I feel bad for people who are going through the same process and they're in, like, Scotland. Because that's a hell of a journey. I digress a little bit. It's kind of mildly on topic. Sorry, my throat is actually beginning to kill me a little bit. So, work schedule, visa process, those are limiting how much time I can spend. And then on top of that, I'm actually doing some, some other things which, are, which aren't my projects. I'm part of them, but they're being run by somebody else. Now, the first of which is... A co-op LP um, done by Breakman Z. Those of you who follow Gamers Embassy will be familiar with this LP. It's uh, FTL co-pilots, where I am the co-pilot and Breakman Z is my captain. Oh, captain, my captain. Uh, it's a series where he he goes through FTL. We're doing the advanced edition right now, and he brings in co-pilots every every time he runs through the game. So why am I trying to light the ground with a freaking chicken leg? That was stupid of me. Um, I'm gonna need to get some torches, aren't I? Yeah, we're slowly lighting up our, our spawn area right now. So we've got that. A uh, link to the LP will actually be down in the description below if you want to check it out and see what kind of mischief we manage. Um, that is totally the wrong reference, but I'm gonna stick with it. Now, the other uh, kind of co-op thing that I'm a part of is a podcast. I'm part of a podcast where I'm the guest host. It's run by somebody else, and he, he started up this podcast called... Uh, and then what happened. Now, to give you a little bit of insight into into what this podcast is, this podcast is called And Then What Happened, and it kind of focuses on the idea of, well, and then what happened after the film. A good example would be our first episode. We talk about Frozen, and uh, just to give a good example of what happened in Frozen, uh, Queen Elsa basically sets up a trade embargo against, against Weaselton. She essentially just stops all trade between these two countries, which is, it's kind of a big deal. You are stopping trade with an entire country, and according to the Duke of Weselton, they're pretty much a big trade ally, so that that's a big issue, the fact that they're not trading. So we kind of talk about the consequences of that, as well as a bunch of other things. Oh my god, this was a bad idea. I can't concentrate on fighting as well as 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 talking. Um, but yeah, you get the general idea of of the podcast. To make it sound even more interesting, um, TJ tries to, TJ, the guy who actually runs it, tries to make the argument that, well, Queen Elsa is going to turn into a tyrannical dictator-esque queen who will rule over the world with an icy fist. You're gonna have to watch it for yourself to see if you agree with him or not, but I think it's a fun little argument that he makes, and I, I hope it's interesting for the rest of you on and whether you think it's a it's a cool little cool little notion but yeah we kind of talk about that sort of thing with lots of different films so far the only two episodes that have aired are frozen and ooh, what was the second episode i believe the second episode was i frankenstein we've recorded a bunch of episodes including looper um i robots and i think that might have been it oh and godzilla uh so those are the episodes we've covered is everybody in this village dead already because the last time I came here, there were only two villagers. Oh, no, I hear one. There's one. You guys need to kind of, like, repopulate the earth, so to speak. 
Sounds naughty, but you guys need to you need you guys need to get busy. Alright. Nope. Nope. This was a bad idea. So much of this is a bad idea. The problem is there's another person on the server right now, the guy who owns it, and he uh, he doesn't tend to go into beds much. And uh, kind of means that I have to put up with the fact that it's nighttime, which is a bit of an issue. Well, it's only an issue when I'm recording. So yeah, that's pretty much all of the reasons. I mean, to give you a bit more insight into why those are stopping me from recording is I have two days off. I'm gonna re-highlight that. But not only that, we're trying to record as much as humanly possible in such a short space. With Breakman Z, because of the time difference, um, so we have limited time, so we're trying to make the most of that. And with and then what happened, we're trying to record as much as possible because he knows I'm moving to the US some point later this year, meaning there are gonna be a good few months where I'm actually gonna be out of commission in terms of in terms of being a guest host. So if we create a backlog that means that we're covered for any eventualities even if like some of us some of us one or the other of us gets sick and we can't record or anything for a week or so it's a good practice to do but it does restrict the amount of time i have for my own personal ventures and because these are other people's ventures i don't want to let them down but the problem with that is i feel like i'm letting you down and i feel horrible about that so yet again i am apologizing once more saying that I'm sorry that I have not been uploading. Hopefully, over the next few days, I am going to fix that. I am going to make sure that I record. Even though it's not my days off, I am going to record. Hopefully, I can muster up some enthusiasm, and I, I don't sound dead because of work. But we shall see. And hopefully, my throat isn't as dry as it is now. But, you know, I, I'm pretty optimistic about everything. Everything will be fine, and hopefully, videos will be coming back to you very shortly. Especially Sherlock. I need to get resumed on Sherlock. The only reason I, I tend to shy away from that is anytime I record on the PC there's a lot of um, kind of rendering issues that make the whole process a ton longer than than it would be than if I recorded off of the Xbox straight onto my, my MacBook Pro which is my editing computer. If I record on my PC I actually need to convert the uh, file for transfer to make it a lot smaller. Um, then there's a transferring time which even though it's smaller, it's it's still a sizable transferring time, and then I need to render it into my editing software. So there's a whole lot of rendering going. When really, if I did if I recorded off the console, it would take half the time. But yeah, I think that's all of my reasons. I hope you guys can forgive me. And hit again, I am, I am just, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. Hold on, I'm gonna hold a magic wand. I'm really sorry about how there have been a lack of videos. And I, again, I hope I fix that soon. Um, and hopefully over the next few days, I shall see you around, probably in Sherlock, if you watch. If not, check out my, check out my channel and see if there is something that you like to enjoy to keep you busy in the meantime whilst I am recording, or whilst I am trying to get all of these other things up and at them. All right, see you around. Hi, wait, 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 don't go just yet, don't, don't, don't click away. Um, I just want to say, I almost forgot to say that I'm actually doing an, a charity event in London next week. Um, which, conveniently on one of my days off. See, this is why I just, I just don't have time. I always, oh, oh, I always get wrapped up into, into one thing or another, but, uh, I just keep myself busy. I don't know how, I just do. Um. But I'm doing a charity event. It's not a live stream or anything like that. Uh, I'd love to do live streams, but there are a bunch of reasons uh, why I can't. Um, feel free to hit me up on Twitter or on Facebook. Send me a message asking me, hey, why don't you do live streams? And I will be glad to explain it to you. Um, and and actually answer any questions you have uh, for me. I love interacting with you guys. It's really fun. But yes, I'm climbing over the Millennium Dome or the O2 Arena, depending on how you know it. I'm doing that next week. And... I'm doing it with a bunch of friends. Now, we all need to, we're requested, uh, or recommended, requested, requested, to raise about 100 pounds, and I'm actually pretty close to about 100 pounds, but I know some of my friends are struggling a little bit, and we've got a Just Giving page, and if you want to help, then, you know what, you would be so amazing for actually contributing. It could be like one dollar, or one pound, or wherever you are in the, in the world. It could be just a piddly amount of money, but every little bit helps and that's true but before you 
before you do, I I should say the charities are Walk for Water, and I just hitting every torch that I have. The charities are Walk for Water and End Polio now. Uh, if you feel if you feel particularly inclined to those, if not, I understand. Don't worry. And if you don't really want to contribute, it's okay. You're still awesome anyway. You hear me? You are still awesome anyway. Oh, that's a little bit too scary. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, so yeah, now I'm all done. Alright. <clears throat> so yeah, now I'm all done. I I hope you guys have an awesome day, night, depending on the rotation of your location. And I'll see you around. <laughs>